Hi guys. So we are here in the middle of the fragment fusion event for Elagaius. Uh, pretty neat little champ, but we have figured out that we're still going to have to pull some shards to get enough points for the fragments. How much you betting we're just going to pull her and be done with it? I guess that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Just done. Don't have to take, a, take the day off. Take a break. <laughs> it wouldn't be the best thing, though. Um, it actually is a 10x targeted event right now, and usually those are kind of dumb, but this one actually isn't all that bad. Um, the three targeted champs are the new holiday champs and one of them in particular at least to me narma here is actually really good and would be really cool uh to get she's a frozen banshee replacement more or less she'd be really great for clan boss but she has cool stuff she uh increases the duration of other debuffs she poisons she puts up poison sensitivity she also does decrease attack so i would really like her for my clan boss team uh, so I don't hate having to open some shards. It's not the best, especially since we're getting a um, another event this weekend. But she's pretty cool. Uh, there's also Little Miss Annie here if you happen to be opening voids. I think we figured it out. We're not going to be opening voids. No, but she has a really cool model. Um, she some... Go ahead. She has some heal reduction. Uh, she has increased attack, perfect veil. Uh, she burns off some of the target's uh, max HP, so that way they can't always uh, heal all the way back up, kind of like Fire Knight, how he does it. Uh, has a shield. And then also, yeah, that's the decrease on everyone. And uh, increase ally attack in all battles by 33%. That's kind of neat. I think we were saying that she's maybe a more PvP yeah. oriented champ, although she could work in a lot of places. I was also saying how cool her model is and kind of all of the event models from this event. They all have really unique models with cool animations and stuff. They're not just reskins. But on to the final champion, the masked <laughs> fear monger. <laughs> it's really cool. Yeah, he, he's really cool. Cause I like how they, I like how they have them. It's pretty much Jason, like, cause he's got the, he's got like the chain that they have around Jason's neck. The mask, the machete. The little hooky, oh dude, that thing would be brutal right there. Do you think that's his mom's head? Maybe that'd make, that'd make sense. Yeah, Lover. that would make sense. Trace Lover. Uh, okay, he attacks one enemy uh, two times. Each hit decreases the target's turn meter by 7.5%. If the target is under a fear or a true fear, reduces the cooldown of the champion's taste of despair passive by one turn if this kills someone. And the passive is fills this champion's turn meter by 50% when an enemy HP drops below 20% on a six turn down to four turn cooldown. Uh, attacks one enemy has a 75% chance of placing a fear debuff for one turn and a 75% chance of placing a 30% decrease speed debuff for two turns has a 75% chance of placing a true fear debuff on two enemies for one turn. If the attack kills an enemy, one true fear debuff will be placed on the enemy with the lowest turn meter while the other will be placed on the enemy with the highest turn meter. Where would you use him? What is... I mean, he, this is all cool and flavorful, but like, where would you actually use him? Well, Tower of Doom. Okay, I mean, the Doom Tower is all you can't just say that for everything. <laughs> it's gonna that or PvP. Uh, him being him being green affinity, uh, and him having the turn meter thing. I was kind of hoping for him to be kind of like an epic armager, because he's also the he's also the same. Like, if he could do the same stuff, right? It'd be amazing because I'd like to really have him as part of part of the team yeah he's really cool looking but yeah i don't know where he would fit but yeah. maybe pvp that's where i usually see true fear used anyway so maybe i don't know well i guess i'm going to go ahead and pay my tax for the kai berries so she will do it you know what i'm just gonna i'm gonna open all my blues too. you're opening all your blues too because I, I want the one girl. oh okay narma everybody's I, everybody wants narma i want the narma that's not Narma. No, but I have him too. He's really good. Seeker, mm -hmm. I already have one and he's fully booked up. Could keep another one for uh, 3v3 because he's a good speedster. Yeah. Okay, now we got to remember how many until my next pity. 
If only somebody made a really cool tool that would help you with that. That guy's terrible. Yeah. Two. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh. Ooh, I don't have him yet. That's worth it right there. Yeah, no, nah, he's a really good rather. Attacks one enemy, has a 50% chance of removing one random buff. Uh, fills the turn meter uh, fills the turn meter of all allies by 15%, places a 50% increase attack. Damn, I just, is this the day of the speedsters? It could be. Speedsters. Uh, revives any dead allies with 25% HP and then heals them by 25%. And then increases ally speed and arena by 23%. Oh, so he would be great for a 3v3. Yeah. Or regular arena too. Anything, dude. So, so far... He's worth pulling. Oh no, his nipple got rubbed off. Let's don't talk about that. What? He's very sensitive. I can tell. Hey, look, I got another one of her. Now I, I now I get her all the time. You don't need her anymore. Yeah, now that I I didn't throw her away again. Oh look, it's Elhane. Yeah, I think I might need her for books. Everyone's favorite starter champ, Elhane. It's a sexy nun. One of the several sexy nuns. That lizard's not any good. He's for a fusion, though, isn't he? I he, think so. He was in the past. Okay, well. Oh, man. If only she was cold heart. She's so cute. But... Yeah, she looks a lot like cold heart. We still yeah. don't have cold heart yet. Okay, last one. Come on. You pulled uh, it out of uh, blue. I'd be surprised. I would, too. Be like, done. Okay, so that was that was mine. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to open the voids. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch over to Kai Berries and let Kai Berries go ahead and open up, open up her. All right, so this is mine. Just double checking. Yeah, this is me. I have two, but I think I'm only going to open one. I don't know. I feel a lot of peer pressure to just open them both, but also I do. I might want to save one for the next event this weekend. I don't know. We'll decide here momentarily. My first one is it's a dog. It's the terror beast. Is this one of the good doggos? No, you already got the good doggo. Uh, okay, well. So what are you going to do? Well, let's just do it. We're already here. You only summon once. Uh, what have I done? Mistakes. No. No. The necro hunter. I already have him and he's terrible. Oh, man, I give up on life. <laughs> Yeah. We're back to Meat Yard's account now. I hope you have better luck than me. I hope I do too. That was horrible. Every time. every time. Every time. Oh, you got Jason. I got Jason. That's that's good right there. I'm okay. happy with Jason. I will probably build him up. Okay, last one. Here we go. We're just going to build him up because you like him. He looks cool. I mean, that's a oh, Another purple. Eh. I don't know if the shadow is good. Was she one of the ones that got reworked recently? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, attacks one enemy, places a 50% increase attack buff on this champion for two turns if this attack is critical. Uh, attacks, oh, I should always read this one. Attack okay. three times at random. Each hit, each hit has a 50% chance of placing a weakened debuff for two turns. And attacks one enemy, randomly revives an ally with 45% if this kills the target. Only available when the ally is... Dead? I would assume so. You can't revive someone who's alive to shadow. What the heck? So she's a faction crypt one. Literally, her she's a speed in faction crypt is her thing. So so well, we got the we got the thing. Okay, and as a um, as kind of like a little bonus tip, because they are going to have um, they're gonna have one where you have to summon actual champions, not just from shards where you can get them like from drops and stuff like that. One thing I did last time is I haven't summoned my guy yet. He's just sitting here waiting. So this is 500 points in the bank and then also was working on my... So that's when they have when they have the summoner rush. Yeah. You mean, yeah. So to get you some free points on summoner rush, if you can save one of the shards or fusions you don't have to pop them as soon as you get them unless you really need the champ. But if you can wait, like Meat Yard's waiting here with Drexthar. No, not Drexthar. Drokul. Sorry. Reading is hard. That, them too. But yeah. But anyway, well, well uh, thank you guys. Thank you for sitting through another disappointing shard opening with meat and berries. No luck in this household. Give it a 6.5 out of 10. Uh. Click subscribe. Bye. <laughs>